In this video, we'll explore various kaiju and massive monsters from various movie universes. Let's dive straight in. Number 10, King Kong, 31.7 meters. Who doesn't know King Kong? The original character first appeared in the novelization of the 1933 film King Kong from RKO Pictures, with the film premiering two months later. The King Kong of the Monsterverse, also dubbed Titanus Kong, is a giant ape daikaiju created by Legendary Pictures for the 2017 Monsterverse film, Kong Skull Island. He will also appear in the 2020 film, Godzilla vs King Kong, where he'll meet and face off against Godzilla. Yeah, Godzilla's 120 meters tall, but okay, you might want to make him a little bigger. What's the excuse going to be? Radiation? Number 9, Otachi, 63 meters tall. One of a series of biological war machines sent through the interdimensional portal known as the Breach in order to conquer humanity, Otachi was a category 4 kaiju, and one of the largest of that classification ever recorded, both in size and weight. She stood at 207 feet tall and weighed a staggering 2,690 tons. Otachi's lower jaw could be split into two to give her an extra wide bite radius, and she was capable of spitting a highly corrosive blue liquid at her opponents, which was powerful enough to melt through even toughened metals. As if all of that wasn't enough, her forelimbs also housed a set of expansive wings which she could use to fly to the very edge of the atmosphere. Number 8, Behemoth, 70 meters. The Behemoth, also known as the impossibly tall creature, is a gigantic six-legged creature encountered by the escapees of the grocery store while driving through the mist. The behemoth never harms any living thing, it doesn't appear to be hostile in nature, but is said to be larger than anything that ever lived on Earth. The wiki says its legs are 18 feet tall, or around 6 meters each, which is completely incorrect. The creature appears to be 70 to 100 meters tall at least, so change it. Number 7, Clover, 90 meters. Clover is the given name of an underwater life form that appears in Clover Field. The monster came from the Atlantic Ocean, where it was awakened by Tagruato submarines sent down from the Chihuahua, Chihuahua station to investigate. The monster rampages throughout Manhattan, destroying the city in its path. This destruction causes the United States government to sacrifice New York City. Hey, what are you doing, asshole? In an attempt to kill the monster with heavy ordnance in the hammered down protocol. Number 6, Knifehead, 96 meters. Knifehead is a category 3 kaiju. Knifehead emerges from the breach and heads for Anchorage, Alaska. Anchorage? Sorry. How do you say it? In a move to head the creature off, Romeo Blue is deployed to defend the 10 mile mark. However, Knifehead evades the Mark 1 Jaeger. Number 5. Behemoth Titanus. We're just Titanus. 108 meters tall. Behemoth Titanus is an awesome, mammothy looking kaiju, what inspired me to make this video. Behemoth, also dubbed Titanus Behemoth, is a prehistoric giant mammoth ground sloth daikaiju that appears in Godzilla, King of the Monsters, as a minor titan obeying Ghidorah and later Godzilla. Very little of the heat from the fire actually affects Behemoth's skin, which makes it merely a nuisance. Behemoth's movement leaves behind trace amounts of radiation, which, as a result, grows jungle-like foliage in his path. Awesome. Number 4. Godzilla. Godzilla needs no introduction. The character first appeared in Ishiro Honda's 1954 film, Godzilla, and became a worldwide pop culture icon, appearing in various media, including 32 films. He's got larger and larger over the years, with the most recent incarnation standing at 120 to 150 meters tall. Number 3, Mega Kaiju, 128 meters. The Mega Kaiju appears in Pacific Rim 2 and is the amalgamation of Raijin, Hakuja, and Shrikathorn. Merged together by swarms of smaller, robotic hybrid kaiju, it displays attributes of its previous forms and towers over the Jaegers. As a fusion, the Mega Kaiju gains all the powers and abilities of the kaiju it's composed of, notably Raijin's ability to redirect kinetic energy and Shrikathorn's spiked tails in greater scale, in addition of increased strength and durability. Number 2. King Ghidorah, 158 meters. 
Ghidorah first appeared in the 1964 film Ghidorah, the three-headed monster, and since then has become one of Godzilla's most famous reoccurring enemies. King Ghidorah is a large, three-headed, wyvern-like kaiju with wings and two tails. He is usually shown to be bigger than Godzilla in size. In the Showa era, King Ghidorah is 100 meters tall and weighs 30k tons. In Godzilla vs King Ghidorah, he's 150 meters tall with a 175 meter wingspan and weighs 70k tons. Hmm, anything bigger than King Ghidorah? And number 1. Slattern. 181 meters. Slattern is a Category 5 Kaiju. It's the first Category 5 ever encountered by humanity. During the events of January 12, 2025, it was sent to protect the Breach from destruction. The largest and strongest of all known kaiju, Slattern is unrivaled by any of its brethren in battle. The creature's high toxicity levels and intelligence makes it the most lethal kaiju the Pan Pacific Defense Corps has ever faced. That brings us to the end of the episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Check out my dinosaur mugs and t-shirts in March. Limited edition. Collect them all. Ask your parents for permission. Viral killer, peace out.